Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Julie Mann and I show men and women how they can live healthy, happy, sustainable lives. And I do that by showing them how to change their habits. And I'm really delighted because today I'm talking to Eugenia O'Liberty and she's going to tell us, oh, that's my phone. She's going to tell us how to maintain and really create healthy relationships. So over to you, Eugenia. Oh, thank you so much for the lovely introduction. And thanks so much for uh, actually inviting me to share um, what I know, because I love talking about uh, relationships, love, intimacy. Uh, it's undeniably the currency in the modern world that goes very, very far. So um, just a little bit about myself. My name is Eugenia Liberty, and I'm an international pleasure and intimacy coach. And I actually help single men and women who are unfulfilled in their intimate lives, in their love lives, to create juicy and passionate relationships that rock their world. And, uh, you know, people often ask me, it's like, give me like one tip, what is like very, very helpful to maintain relationships. And, you know, I would say that foundation for any relationship is clear and honest communication and for me it's like number one so get in the habit of communicating because especially us women what we do it's like we have some resentments we like have something that we don't like what our partner does and what is like hey honey are you okay i'm fine it's like the biggest lie in the whole world that women are saying, I'm okay, I'm fine. But inside is like you boy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I would say, you know, get honest, like get into habit of sharing. It's like, well, when you did this and also do that without the accusations, because one of the major thing is like, we don't know how to communicate. Because when something is not right, it's like, you did this and blah, 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 and you're wrong and I'm right. And it's like, you know, and then it becomes an argument and not a discussion. So getting in the habit of having a discussion is like, hey, honey, you know, when you did this, I felt this way and I don't like it. How we can next time find another way to deal with this situation? You know, and, and open the discussion, get curious and share also where you are. Because I will tell you, I work with a lot of men also. And one of the major thing, it's like when women pretend that they're okay, when they're actually not, you know, it, it's, it's a lie. It's a lie. And men cannot trust the woman because she is not expressing her truth. So he doesn't know. When are you actually okay? And when you're actually not okay? So how he can trust you? You know, we all like wanting to trust our partners, but how he, he can trust you being open and honest if like you're okay or you say that you're okay when you're actually not, you know? But in the same time, you demand like a truthfulness and honesty from him. So it, it has to be balanced. So open and honest communication, I would say the foundation to any, any relationship. It's number one thing. Yeah, so um, I actually have three, three um, habits to share. And yeah, would, would you like me to, to yeah, keep going? No, really, absolutely. Go ahead, Eugene. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, the next habit is actually, you know, to bring a little bit more intimacy into relationships. And this is what I really, really love. Because a lot of the time I meet couples who are grown apart some, somehow, or their spark is gone, you know, and in my opinion, intimacy and desire and sexual magnetism is the glue of romantic relationship otherwise we just become friends you know flatmates you know who just live in the same house and nothing romantic about that you know so 
one of the like also foundational things about pleasure and intimacy with one another is actually knowing uh, each other's love language. And there are five love languages. And what they are is words of affirmation, they are um, affection, presence, like as in physical presence. And there is also quality time as presence, as in, you know, you're there for the, for the person. And the fifth one, okay, um, I'm always forgetting. <laughs> Takes me a little bit longer to remember. So words of affirmation, um, uh, affection, presence, quality time, and whoops, sorry. And um, my God, I just lost it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm just gonna. Um, Sorry, my gosh. You want to come back to it? It's just escaped my mind. Oh, acts of service. That's it. So yeah, five of them. And um, what happens, you know, we give and receive love in a very different ways. Like for example, my uh, my two main love languages are affection and words of affirmation. I need to be told that I'm beautiful. I need to hear that, you know, I need to know that you have noticed that I've got a new lipstick on today. You know, I need to know that you see that, you know, I've got a new dress on and, you know, like, this is very important to me. And if I don't hear that for me, it's like, oh my God, He's not noticing me. What's happening? You know, it's like, maybe he doesn't like me and my, my mind gets wondering. You know, like also affection, it's, it's a must. You know, it's like, I have to feel this physical touch. I have to feel and connect with the person physically. I, I work with a lot of people and all of them have got their own different um, love languages. It's like some people express their love by buying presents and just like you know it's like hey honey you know I went to this you know bakery and I got this croissant for you you know and it's like this is how they show love or the other person is like would make you breakfast in bed you know or would do something for you something you know like broken in your house and he would come and fix that or you know like this is like so we all give and receive love in a different ways so I feel that it's very, very important for lovers to know each other's love languages. So then you can share and give them love in the way that they are receiving it without also taking the offense to it. You know, like, for example, I was um, working with somebody. Uh, actually, we, we've been having a group call and been talking about <clears throat> love languages also. And... Uh, uh, like this one man, he was like, oh, you know what? This just makes me think that I need to go and tell my wife that when she made that meal, I really enjoyed it. Because, you know, uh, he goes like, to me, it's not important, you know, like uh, to, to be acknowledged this way. But for her, it's her love language. And she's been cooking for a couple of days now, and I never said anything. And I think it's like a great reminder for me to go and tell her that, uh, you know, her, her cooking was amazing. And, you know, and these are the things that make us feel closer to one another. We're like, oh, okay, so he or she notices me. Okay, I'm seen. Okay, I'm understood here. You know, and it's like these subtle things, subtle, subtle things. And um, the final um, habit, and you know, I feel that all of us um, have got such a busy lives and we have got so a lot going on in our lives, you know, in our careers. And it's like world is a bit uncertain right now things like that and you know as much as communication is the key being able to connect with one another without you know sometimes really being too much or like sharing everything or like sometimes we, after a hard day we come home and we just don't want to talk 
So what would be a great way to deal with that is to give each other a hug and just really hum together. Like, you know, like exhale. And when you do that, like, especially when man stands behind a woman and just holds her from the back and you just exhale, you know, it, it creates a disconnection, like your uh, limbic system connects so that if he doesn't want to talk a lot or she doesn't want to talk a lot, you know, and it's like whatever, like pressures of the day have been out there. It's like what, what happens, you connect without having actually to talk, but in the same time, you let each other know, I'm here for you. I am with you right now, you know, and that creates that connection that creates that, um, you know, bond, romantic bond. So then you actually don't have to go into like the details of like everything, unless you want to, unless you're ready for it, unless you know that there is a right time for you, because for everybody and everything is the right time. But after like, you know, stressful day and like when a lot of happening can just like come and connect Mm. and it takes five minutes, you know, it doesn't have to be like two hours. (laughs) And then hugging each other, but it creates so much intimacy. And you know, um, we all crave that. We all want intimacy. We were wired for it. So I would really, really love to see more people doing that and actually share with us how it is going for them, you know, because it's amazing. Brilliant. Those tips were so simple and yet I can see how powerful they are so thank you so much Eugenia mm, the so links awesome. below this video so for anyone who hasn't yet had the pleasure of talking to you Je- well, I've got him to speak now Eugenia please please go and check her out so thank you again Eugenia very much and uh, to everyone else have an amazing day thank you thank you thank you and yeah indeed uh, if everyone if anyone would like to know more tips or have more questions about how they can create more intimacy, how they can create the juicy and passionate relationships that rock your world, you know, just don't be shy and connect with me. My name is Eugenia Liberty. Find me on Facebook or Instagram. I'm here. Fabulous.